Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss the inner join option uh, when we merge queries in Power Query Editor. So let's start. And you can see I've got this uh, just as an explanation. So you can see I've got two tables, one's the location table and the customer table. And if I join these two tables based on the location ID and if let's say I do an inner join, you can see, so I'm joining on the location ID and location head table has one, two, three, four, six and seven and the customer table has one, two, three, four, and six. So if you think of this as a set, it will be all the values which exist in both the tables. So you will have one, two, three, four, six, because these are the values which are common in both the tables. And you can see that the, dat the data set will also sort of explore, uh, reflect that. So five doesn't exist in the location table, but it exists in the customer table. So there could be some, or dodgy data or bad data, but that's how it is. So five is excluded. Similarly, we've got seven in the location ID, but seven doesn't exist in the customer ID. So on, if let's say we think of location ID as values from one to seven, five, the value of five doesn't exist in the location table and the value of seven doesn't like uh, exist in the customer table. So those two values will be filtered out. So only the common values, which is one, two, three, four, and six, uh, which are common values between the uh, both the tables will get filled uh, get moved on as the data set in the final merge so uh, I'll, I'll escape out of this and I'll, I've got this in a power bi file so we'll just play around with it so I've already loaded these data sets into power query editor and you can see I've got the customer data and it has got customer ID customer name and location ID and it's got one two three four five six and then I've got location which is one, two, three, four, six, seven. So now let's say if it's so using the customer table, I'll do a merge join. So in the Power Query Editor, I select the customer table and then I'm on the home tab. So from here, I go into merge queries and I'll just select merge queries as new option. So you can take, you can just keep the merge query option, but I'm just keeping merge query as new because I want a new table. And then I'll say, I'll merge it to the location table and I want to join it on the basis of location ID. So I choose the location ID field in the customer table. And then I choose the location ID field in the location. And now for the join kind, I will just go and say inner join. So it says only matching rows. And I'll say hit OK. So which essentially means one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four exists here as well. And then five doesn't exist here. And seven also doesn't exist both ways. So now if I hit OK, And so what it does is it joins the location table, but I'll have to open it and select the fields that I want. So I don't want location ID again, which I already have that in the customer table. I just want the location name. So I'll hit OK here. And you can see it's giving us one, two, three, four, six. So again, let's go to the customer table. It had one, two, three, four, five, six. So five is the, has not made it into the merge. And if you could look at the, so there's no five location ID. And now if I go into the location table, it had a uh, ID of seven for Delhi that has also not made into the merge because it doesn't exist. So in this video, we've explored um, the merge query, the inner join option. Uh, so I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.